Welcome, 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 ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters to this YouTube channel, Bible Lessons and Prayers. I am Elder Derek Strickland, and I am so glad and blessed that you are right here with us right now as we go through this lesson. Uh, we got a really good lesson uh, right now. The title of the lesson is Thirsty for Real Water. Thirsty for Real Water. So, wow, wow it is December. December already. Man, time is flying, and uh, we definitely want to get into this uh, lesson. It is my really um, honest thought that if we learn um, the Word of God and get the correct understanding of the Word of God, that we can definitely live better in according to the Word of God and according to God's will. So um, definitely, let's buckle up and let's get into this Word. And um, we're going to go ahead and open up <clears throat> with a, a word of prayer, and we're going to get down to business, all right? Uh, so listen, before we go into prayer, if you have been here and you're coming back, like you, you're coming back for the content, I thank you. All right. Do me a favor. If you haven't already did it, go ahead and uh, subscribe to the channel and then click the bell. Click the bell so you get notified each and every time I upload a video. So I upload a video. You get a, a little ding on your phone. Ding. Elder Strickland just uploaded another video. So you can always stay on track with what we're doing. All right. Definitely uh, smash that like button. Right. Um, definitely, if you smash the like button, that lets YouTube know that you are really enjoying the content that you're seeing, and then they help to spread the video, thus spreading the gospel. How about that? <laughs> so um, definitely take time out, uh, if you would, to do that. So let's uh, open up with a word of prayer, and we're going to get right down to business. Count kind of Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you. We thank you for um, this time right now, Lord, is that, that you bless each and every one that is watching this video, and that you bless them with understanding, wisdom, and knowledge in the name of Jesus. Lord, just ask that you look on them and bless them in their home, bless their finances, bless their relationships, oh God. Lord, if you would, Lord, if it's thy will, I ask that, just ask that you continue to make ways and open doors. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you and give your name the praise, glory, and honor. Be blessed and in Jesus' name. Thank God. Amen. All right. Thirsty for real water. Our background reading is going to be found in Genesis 21, 19, Genesis 24 and 43, Exodus 7, 24, Exodus 15, 27, Judges 5, 26, Isaiah 12 and 3. The devotional reading is going to be found in John, St. John 4, 7 through 15. Excuse me. Now, our central verse. Our central verse is going to be found in John, St. John 4 and 4. And this is what our central verse says. But whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. But the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. Those are that's our central verse, which means that this lesson is going to be anchored by this verse. All right, and we could we could come back to this verse to give us an outlet on um, this overall lesson. Now we got three key terms. The first key term is quench thirst. Quench thirst means to relieve or satisfy with liquid. To relieve or satisfy with liquid. Living water, a symbol for salvation and true knowledge of God, Jesus and the Holy Spirit. That's what living water is. A symbol for salvation and true knowledge of God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. All right? Promiscuity. All right? Promiscuity is our last key term that we're going to have. Behavior not restricted to one sexual partner or a few sexual partners. One more time. Behavior not restricted to one sexual partner, but few sexual partners. All right, so let's go through these uh, background readings really quick, and uh, we're going to get into it, all right? So uh, first background reading is Genesis 21, 19. It says, And God opened her eyes, and she saw a well of water, and she went and filled the bottle with water and gave the lad drink, all right? And Genesis 21, 19. All right, we have uh, Genesis 24 and 43, and it reads, Behold, I stand by the well of water, and it shall come to pass that when the virgin cometh forth to draw water, and to and I say to her, Give me, I pray thee, a little water of thy pitcher to drink. All right. That's Genesis twenty four forty three. Our next one is. All right. Hold on. Let me see. I, I Genesis twenty four forty three. We have. 
Exodus. All right, let, let's go. We got a little technical difficulty, but we'll, we'll get it together. Exodus. Exodus uh, 7. 24 and it reads and all the Egyptians dig round about the river for water to drink for they could not drink of the water of the river that's Exodus uh, 7 24 and we got Exodus 15 27 and they came to Elam where were twelve wells of water, and three scores and ten palm trees, and they encamped there by the waters. That's um, Exodus fifteen twenty seven. Now we got Judges. We got Judges five twenty six, and it reads: She put her hand to the nail, and her right hand to the workman's hammer. And with the hammer, she smote Caesarea. Caesarea, she smote off his head when she had pierced and stricken through his temple. Wow, that's Judges. They didn't play back in the Old Testament. Let me tell you that right now. They did not play back in the Old Testament. Now we're going to Isaiah 12 and 3. Therefore, with joy shall ye draw water out of the wells of salvation. Therefore, uh, therefore, with joy shall you draw water out of the wells of salvation. Now we're going to go to our devotional reading, which is found in John uh, 4, John 4, um, 7 through 15. All right. And here we go. This is the big. This is our devotional reading, and um, this is a scripture uh, passage of scriptures that you're probably really familiar with. So it's pretty uh, cool that uh, we can go over this because I'm pretty sure some of you all have heard this. All right, so listen up for all of you all that never heard this um, this passage of scripture. Um, this is a really great encounter between Jesus and the Samaritan woman. All right, so it says, "There cometh a woman of Samaria to draw water." Jesus said to her, unto her, Give me to drink. For his disciples were going away unto the city to buy meat. Then said the woman of Samaria unto him, How is it that thou, being a Jew, ask drink of me, which I am a woman of Samaria? For the Jews have no dealing with Samarians. Jesus answered and said unto her, If thou knowest the gift of God, and who it is that thee, and who it is that saith to thee, Give me to drink, Thou wouldest have asked of him, and he would have given thee living water. All right. Women said, the woman said unto him, Sir, thou hast nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. From whence, ha, from whence then hast thou that living water? Art thou greater than, the, than our father Jacob, which gave us the well, and drank thereof himself, and his children, and his cattle? Jesus Answered and said unto her, Whosoever drinketh of, the, of this water shall thirst, but whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. But the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. The woman said to him, Sir, give me this water that I thirst not, neither come hither to draw. All right, so the, the title, the subject, uh, of this lesson, the title of this lesson is Thirsty for Real Water. Now, water is and, and always has been a very vital, vital part of human, vital part for humans on this earth. From the very beginning of creation, there has been water. God has to separate, God had to separate the water from the land by speaking to it and giving water's boundaries. God's pure and clean water is necessary for life in any form to continue. The dictionary states that the average adult body is 50 to 65 percent water, averaging around 57 to 60. The percentage of water in infants is much higher, typically around 75 to 78 percent water, dropping to 65 percent by year one. 
Body composition varies according to the gender and the fitness level because fatty tissues contain less water than lean tissue. We can see that good water is necessary for people's lives and we cannot survive without a certain amount of it. At, all right, so this is our discussion. A criminal was fleeing for his life in the book of Judges and got thirsty. He made the mistake of stopping at the tent of the woman named G G L J J J L. I, I guess Jael. Yeah, J J L. Yep. And asked for water. She knew he had been running and hiding for quite some time. Was very thirsty. Needed some water to quench his thirst. The water would have would have revived him and allowed him to keep fleeing. So instead of giving him water, she gave him milk. Most parents know that drinking warm milk tends to cause drowsiness. That what that's what happened to the criminal uh, Caesarea after he drank the milk. He fell asleep and Jail was able to get a nail and use a hammer to strike his temple and he died. When a person needs water, milk cannot bring satisfaction that his body needs. He needs a good drink of water. In the spirit, nothing can satisfy the thirst but the living water from Jesus. It is with joy that the believer draws water out of the well of salvation. The believer needs to realize that God is concerned about his needs. When the bondwoman Hagar was cast out of Abraham's house because of Sarah's displeasure, all she had was some bread and a bottle of water wandering in the wilderness of Bathsheba. Bathsheba. When all her water was gone, she was yet long long away from home and had no way of getting water. She sat down and prayed and asked God to spare her child and cried in a loud voice. Her son must have cried because God heard the last voice and allowed an angel of, out of heaven to speak to Hagar. The angel asked Hagar what was wrong with her. The angel told her not to be afraid because God had heard the voice of the lad. In the United States of America, we have heard had many issues concerning pure drinking water. But the saints of God, do not be afraid. Trust in God of your salvation because he knows how to bless in a place where there is bad water. God told Hagar to lift the lad and hold on to him in her hand. For he had plans for Ishmael and he would not allow him to die. God opened Hagar's eyes and she saw a well of water and went and filled the bottles. God wants believers to know that to know and believe that he has the water they need for survival. Sometimes he allows the water to run out so they can realize he and he alone is what is needed. God allowed the hard-hearted Pharaoh and the rebellious Egyptians to need water after he sent the plagues and caused the water in the river of Egypt to turn to blood. Pharaoh and his men dig around the river of the water, but they could not find clean water to drink. It was only after they surrendered to the will of God that they did get clean water. Pharaoh knew that without water, they could not live very long. So he had to say yes to the will of God. If a believer li lives in the life, if, believe, if, the believe, if a believer lives the life that God has chosen from him, he must, hold on, let me turn, let me turn the page, let me turn the page. <laughs> he must have the living water that comes from God the Word, the Son, and the Holy Ghost or Holy Spirit. God sent Samaria. Jesus was sent to Samaria because he felt the need. He was aware that there was a woman there who had been counted out. Man, have you all ever felt counted out? <laughs> Something had happened to her, happened to this woman in Samaria that had caused her to live a life of promiscuity. Her lifestyle had made her an outcast in that area, but Jesus knew he could reach her through something she understood in the natural. It's not always about reaching people through the spiritual. A lot of times people are just so spiritual that they're no earthly good and people cannot relate. Jesus dealt with this lady in the, in the natural and he captured her. <clears throat> Every day she had to go to the well for water, but was probably an unpleasant job to go to the well when other women were there because of her lifestyle. So she went after others had returned home. When Jesus offered her water that 
would sustain her, she wanted this water. She became thirsty for the living water that Jesus talked about and received what Jesus offered her and became whole. Now this is our conclusion. Every individual cannot be filled by anything but the word, which is Jesus. Jesus Christ loves the church, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it, that he might sanctify and cleanse it by the washing of water by the word. He might present it to himself a glorious church, not having a spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. That's uh, Ephesians 5, 25 through 27. Each believer must become thirsty for the water which will, wait, each believer must become thirsty for this water which will, which will water their souls and never allow them to thirst again. All right, that is the conclusion of this lesson. Um, it's, it's just amazing um, how Jesus dealt with um, the Sumerian woman and um, he didn't care that, you know, uh, he was seen with her. He didn't care that uh, that he was seen with her as it relates to her past, her promiscuity that she had had with several men. Um, if you keep reading, he tells her about herself um, and tells us she's been with five men and the one she got now is not a husband. So he knew all about her. Sometimes it's God, God will use the one that everybody else counts out. Eventually, what this woman did was she turned into an evangelist. She, after she got the word, she took off running. Come see this man that told me everything. You know, so you just can't count people out by, the, by their past. You can't count people out by how they look. Um, you can't count people out by anything in that line, in that whole situation. You can't. You just can't count people out. So everybody that counted um, this Samaritan woman out, guess what? They don't know how to count. Because as soon as you count people like that out, God is there to count them in. All you have to do is surrender. You have to um, give up and give in to, to what Jesus is um, saying for us and what he would want for us in our lives. So definitely, this is a very good um, lesson here. Thirsty for real water. <clears throat> so I got... Four questions here, and we're gonna give an essential thought and uh, prayer. And we're gonna be done. Uh, what is the water? Why is the water so important to the life of a human? That's question number one. Question number two: uh, Why is it important to to the woman at the well? Number three: What? Why did Jesus? Why did jail jail give Caesarea milk instead of water? What will the water that Jesus offer do for a believer? All right, so answer those questions down in the comment section. And the essential thought is the living water that Jesus gives is eternal. The living water that Jesus gives us is eternal. All right, so um, definitely I thank you all for, um, you know, hanging out with me today, going over this Bible lesson. This is the first lesson in December. Um, like I was saying earlier, man, this year has gone past. And um, guess what? Let's start preparing. Um, for the for the coming year, let's start getting our mindset as to what we want to uh, do, how we want to grow in God, how we desire to um, minister and help God's people. Definitely share this channel out with other people. The link is in the bio uh, in the um, description for the Facebook group, group if you desire to do that. And um, wow, I'm just so glad and thankful for you all here. Once again, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, smash that like button, and I'll definitely. You know, ring, ring the bell, smash the like button and ring the bell so you get notified each and every time I upload a video. So, with that being said, um, we all standing. <laughs> no, we not really standing. I hope you're not standing. Sit down. Sit down. All right. Kind Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you. Thank you for this lesson. Lord, thank you for showing us, Lord, uh, what the real living water can do for a believer and what it can do for someone. So, Lord, just ask that you continue to let your living water just be a well springing up in us. In the name of Jesus, Lord, just ask that you continue to bless every family that comes across this video. Lord, just ask that you will bless them and keep them. <clears throat> Lord, you're so kind. You're so wonderful. You're so gracious. Oh, God, we thank you, God, for your grace and your mercy. Lord, just ask that you continue to bless every subscriber, every Facebook uh, member. Lord, just everywhere. Bless your people everywhere, God. Name by name and one by one as you see fit. And God, we forever give your name the praise, glory, and honor. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Thank God. Amen. All right. 
Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, once again, I am Elder Derek Strickland, and it is always my wish for you that you all be blessed, and then go out there and be a blessing. Peace.